introduce Tim. Uh, let's welcome uh, Dr. Olson. Sorry, I guess I have a large slide deck. It's uh, taking a minute to download. Here we go. All right, so about five years ago a, in Minnesota, a man angrily walked into a Target store and he wanted, he demanded to speak to a manager. He held in his hand some coupons that had been sent to his daughter and he, he told the manager, you sent my daughter these coupons? They're a bunch of maternity clothes and baby, um, baby things that babies use, like do you want her to get pregnant? She's not even pregnant. And the manager, of course, was very apologetic and apologized. And a couple days later, as, as good managers do, he called back to make sure that the man was OK and everything was good. And the man said, no, I'm the one who should be apologizing to you. There's some things that I didn't know. My daughter actually is pregnant, and she's due in six months. And so Target you know, had, had this information and sent these coupons. Um, and if you think about it, this is somewhat similar to, to what we see um, on Netflix, it recommends you know, movies for you to watch based on movies that you've watched in the past. On Amazon, it recommends things for you to purchase based on things you've purchased in the past. And Target is, is no different. Also, kind of in a, in a different, different vein, the fire department in New York City has 300,000 buildings that they inspect annually. And they have to, they have to prioritize which of these 300,000 buildings they're going to inspect first. And they do this with a huge database full of all sorts of stats and information about the, about the buildings. And all of these examples are examples of business analytics, data analytics, data science, big data. These are things that have been in the news a lot recently. And they're all examples of the power of information and what people are doing with information, the importance of it today. Um, a couple other, another quote that I like is, software is eating the world. This was said by someone about three years ago who's famous in Silicon Valley. And of course, this doesn't mean you know software doesn't really eat anything. But um, <laughs> the point that he's getting at is that software is eating away at established business models. A few examples of this: Airbnb is you know causing Marriott and Hilton to to think twice about um, their business model. Uh, Lyft and Uber are kind of upending the taxi you know the, the long established taxi uh, practices in in many cities uh, around the world. And Netflix, of course, is you know, changing even movies. They're showing movies now that are released on Netflix the same day they're released in the theater. This is all, of course, powered through, through software and, and IT. So I'm here to talk about like, why, why you might want to choose MIS as a major, what the MIS major is. You've seen a few examples already. There's three, mo three main points. Um, if, you, if you study MIS, you can help make the world a better place. Um, it might be a more efficient place. Technology makes things more efficient, and that's, that's important. But you can also um, do some fun things with, with, uh, with technology. There's a new company called Watsi that's been around for three years, and they help you fund surgeries for people in poor countries that have no health care and, and no chance of ever getting any health care. Um, Big Heart Humanitarian is a company or a, a nonprofit that I helped found about eight years ago that allows all of us to donate um, and fund, fund the elementary education of elementary school children in Guatemala. So there's, there's all sorts of fun things. All of these, of course, you know, integral to these nonprofits are technology and the, the ability that technology gives us to collaborate and help each other. So you can make the world a better place. Strong demand. Strong demand means that you can have a job and that people want, will want to hire you after, you're, uh, after you graduate. Uh, yesterday on Facebook, I saw this. Ezra Klein is a, a journalist in DC. He, he posted this. And so I clicked on it. And you know, if, if we can see right here, a lot of these are engineering. You know, so no surprise, petroleum engineering, chemical engineering. There's a, um, there's a high demand for these. And they get, they get paid well. Um, <coughs> business information systems. Not that money should ever be you know, your reason for doing something, but you know, this shows that there is demand for people who, who study and know something about information systems. So strong demand. And then the last thing is that there's, a, there's something for everybody. Uh, these are a bunch of different maybe personality types, you could say. 
Um, and these are a bunch of jobs that you can have in IT. If you're anal analytical, you might you know, be a business, uh, do business analytics, like the examples that we discussed at the beginning. Um, you can also go into cons consulting. If you're creative, you might try you know, doing web development, working on the user experience. Uh, if you're an extrovert, you might be an, an IT manager or a product manager. And of course, if you're an introvert, you can go into programming or IT security, of course. Introverts make, introverts and extroverts is kind of a false dichotomy. They make good, they're, they're good in any position, but um, there's a lot of different, different positions that you can go into, um, so there's, there's something for, for everyone. I asked my students at the beginning of the semester what concentrations they have. This is what they told me. So uh, just, just like many concentrations, you can choose to do two concentrations. And the MIS uh, concentration is, is popular with, with all, the, all the different concentrations as well. And so it's a, it's a great opportunity. Again, I'll just kind of end with, you know, why MIS? You can make the world a better place. There's a strong demand. And again, there's jobs for all types of people. So I think we're going to do questions afterwards. So I'll yield the floor to my, my, my colleagues. Let's thank Dr. Olson.